This is 4613 with the latest on Tropical Cyclone Penny, which is a Category 1 system on the Australian scale. At 5am at local time, Penny with central pressure 992 millibars was located over the northwest coral sea. Located 13 decimal 3 degrees south, 149 decimal 3 degrees east, which is about 340 kilometres north northwest of Willis Island, 505 kilometres east and northeast of Cooktown. Tropical Cyclone Penny is continuing to track in an eastward direction away from the east of Queensland coast and is expected to gradually increase to Category 2 and remaining well offshore before turning back towards the Queensland case in a southwesterly direction. There are no watches or warnings for the uh, Queensland case at this point in time. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has also updated their position and here's the latest. They have it located near 13 decimal 6 degrees south, 150 decimal 2 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 50 knots gusting 65. And it's about 323 nautical miles northeast of Cairns. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts deep convective banding over the western semicircle of the system with a partially exposed low level circulation center position just east. There's still a fair bit of uncertainty on what tropical cyclone Penny is going to do. The key point is when is Penny going to change direction however this is the life of the system up to earlier this morning a 37 gigahertz image indicates shadow banding wrapping tightly into a microwave eye feature which supports the current position with high confidence and that's a, a key point from the center a microwave eye feature An ASCAD image showing 50 knot winds over the northern semicircle. The initial intensity is assessed at 50 knots. Tropical Cyclone 08P, which is the name that the center has given, or Tropical Cyclone Penny, will track along the southern periphery of a near equitable ridge over the next 24 hours and once the 24 hour mark has been reached and this is the second significant but major point there is increasing uncertainty in the forecast track as a subtropical ridge builds to the east which will then produce a slow southward track and in the tropical cyclone warning center here in Brisbane has indicated previously and also via their tropical cyclone three day outlook that there is a very complex steering mechanism. Currently on the screen is a look at the various NOAA floaters. And 
this uh, southward track only for the next 48 hours and after the 48 hour mark has been reached Tropical Cyclone Penny will accelerate west-south-west through to the 120 hour mark Now we have a look at the upper level divergence which is up around 60 knots where Penny is located. Wind shear, 24 hour shear tendency, 850 minute bar vorticity. As the steering wedge builds south of the system, low 10 to 15 knot vertical wind shear, good outflow and warm 27 to 29 Celsius sea surface temperatures supports intensification after 48 hours. The system will gradually weaken as environmental conditions degrade dynamic model vortex trackers remain in fair agreement with significant differences in the timing of the west-southwest turn and track speeds in the later forecast period. Now we have a look at the GFS total accumulated uh, precipitation, the rainfall scale, right hand side of the screen. Now we have a look at various models. Therefore, there is no overall confidence in the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's track forecast. And at this point in time, the sea surface temperature remains 18 feet. Tropical cyclone formation probability guide. We, put, we have one uh, tropical system in the Westpac, possibility of the second one. And we're keeping our eyes on, I think it's Invest 98P in the Fiji region. And a look at various uh, models and their tracks. The models on the right hand side of the screen with the various colours. They cycle track guidance. The HWRF indicates a track back into central Queensland, but there remains a lot of uncertainty on what this particular cyclone is going to do. And there's one yellow uh, model which indicates possibly a weak curve back then parallel to the Queensland case. Late cycle intensity guidance. The HWRF is saying a category one on the Saffron Simpson scale and it represents a cat two on the Australian scale. HWRF model on Penny. And considering that I'm down here in southeast Queensland, I'm uh, monitoring this system with great interest to see how long the system is going to stay on that southward track and eastward track. The longer it stays on the eastward track, then the curve brings it back down towards Fraser Island, which is around 25 degrees. Tropical Tippets track. And central pressure is the scale on the right hand side of the screen. And again, what does one say about this mess? Yeah, Meteorology's uh, Brisbane Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre will update 
in about four hours, three and a half hours from now. And finally, I recorded this earlier this morning. It's a video of a meteorology's uh, weather on a station, and you can clearly see. And Penny is within range of the station. We will continue to bring the latest information, read really what's happening on the tropical scene. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force 13 on facebook under the same name force 13 and our twitter handle it's at force 13 if you wish to get in touch you can also add force 13 on skype and my personal account on discord fool 13 at extension 9094